Okay, welcome back to episode 2 of Botting the Max. It's double XP, and this is what the account looks like now. I did some more magic, I did some more uh, range just to get everything rounded out in the 50s. I think that's really all I've done in between episode 1 and 2 so far, other than some Hunter. Uh, we're going to just continue doing Hunter. I found a script on the SDN that allows you to do Whirly Gigs, which you can start right at level 1, which is what I did, all the way up to level 30. And... I have to build the flower basket. Damn. I wanted to do the gliding whirly gigs, so I bought roses because the in the XP is like infinitely higher. And I was even thinking about turning double XP on for it. But I need to build these baskets before I can actually stop this script or start the script. So we'll stop it. And then I guess we'll go buy these and build these and start it back up. I actually also ended up buying Silverhawk boots for free out of the Ottoman store. And then I bought 250 Silverhawk feathers to put in them. Because they do have an agility script for free that you can use, but the lowest agility course they'll let you do on it is the Wilderness Agility course, which requires level 52 agility. Um, so even though Silverhawk feathers are expensive right now, well, I think they're more expensive because of DXP. Maybe they're not. I don't know if DXP affects the boots or not. But I ended up buying a ton of feathers to use. We're going to use these stars in agility as well once our agility gets to a higher level. Um, and yeah. I'm just going to do agility and hunter for now and then hopefully later on in the video you'll see me on the wilderness for the wilderness course hopefully we can hit 52 agility pretty soon just off these boots alone because i do want to get a really high agility level okay so we hit 50 hunter and we're going to switch over to the swift whirly gigs and we're also up to 15 agility also if you decide to copy what i'm doing as far as hunter xp goes Make sure you come here and unlock these, right? One of them is a straight-up increased XP rate, but they also increase the amount of scarabs you can catch or, like, stack in the gator's mouth, um, automatic looting, things of that nature. These are just really good, and you get them just from catching scarabs, just from training here, so it's absolutely free. Don't forget to do this if you copy this method for Hunter. Okay, so we've put a huge dent in our double XP time. We used up about 8 hours, and so far we're up to 44 agility and 80 hunter. I think for now, I'm just going to do some wood cutting with more silver hawk feathers and really just try to wait out till I get to, uh, I think it's 52 agility. And then I'll be switching to the uh, wilderness agility course, and I, I might just go for 99 agility there, because 99 agility is really useful. You know, it's a, it's a great stat, and no one likes doing it, so... I'll probably go for 99 agility as soon as we get to 52 and can go to the wilderness agility course. Wow, these hasty whirly gig shells actually instant sold for a lot more than I thought they were going to. I tried to sell them for 2k each and they sold for 5,000, netting us 4.5 million gold. So we hit 60 wood cutting and we got up to 50 agility, which is really close to where we need to be, but I actually ran out of silver hawk feathers in my boots. So I think what I'm going to do is just hop to a world with a portable Fletcher and Fletch until we get 52 agility from the Silverhawk Feathers. So we got our Fletching up to 65, but the Silverhawk Boots only proc a certain amount of times every certain amount of minutes. And I was running out of Fletching materials very fast. So we're going to switch over. We're going to do some prayer. We're going to use the Burials Powder Helper script. Um... And then we're going to go to combat. I'm going to try and use some of this double XP to get our combat. Hopefully up into the 70s. I'm not even going to lie. This script works like a charm. And it was super fun to watch. It did it so fast. I literally just sat here and watched it get to 50. Like you can see how fast the circle's filling up. And yeah. It was just really satisfying to watch this one go off. But yeah. I'm going to go do some combat now. And then I'm going to get 52 agility. And then we'll do wilderness agility course. All right, ladies and germs, it's finally happened. Okay, we hit 52 agility. I'm going to check and see if we still... Yeah, we still got a bunch of silver hawk feathers. I'm going to run this script right now, and we're going to see if it'll actually, like, walk us out there, or if I have to, like, manually move us out there. Uh, okay, so I just realized I didn't have the script, uh, so I subbed to it on the SDN. If you're ever on RuneScape and get a new script for your bot, you can just click this. Refresh scripts. Boom, there it is. Qbot's agility. We'll load it up. We'll load it up. It takes a second. Settings. Literally, are there any? The settings button doesn't work. I'm losing a lot of hope here, fellas. Do I just hit play? Okay, well, we're going to unclick play. 
there's no there's no settings tab popping up here fellas so i'm just gonna go to the will the agility course and pray that it's not a waste of time yeah okay great news i was honestly getting really worried about it um but yeah there you go uh we're here we're doing agility we got double xp running in the background we got our silver hawk boots with our silver hawk feathers in them um and this actually keeps track of our xp gained is it accurate with double xp being active let's see 41 I, okay i'm not gonna lie i didn't do the math on that i didn't see what the number was so we're at 1497 and then when we complete this with double xp we get 313 xp and it went up by 313 wow awesome yeah so we'll let this run for quite a while and uh yeah that's it I really don't know if I've shown it yet, but the XP per hour here is only like 90,000. Yeah, only. Like, I know 90k an hour sounds like a lot, but dude, it's double XP. It's not that good. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do Rune Mysteries and Into the Abyss so I can buy the Demonic Skull. And then, uh, I'm just going to use like four keys. I guess we can open these four keys right now. Uh, and the Prismatic Stars will be put into Agility. And I might even look at spending my double XP tokens on the Agility uh, skill set. Just because I really do not like this XP rate. Ended up with just a couple stars. We'll use them all in agility. 39,000 bonus XP. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I don't regret that later. Oh, wait, it's a bot. I'm not going to care. Actually, I do care because these stupid idiots gave me the nimble boots and I would rather wear my Silverhawk ones. God damn it. Wait, actually, I think the nimble boots count as part of the set. I mean, it says I'm wearing four pieces with the Silverhawk boots, so... Okay, never mind. That's cool as shit. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've touched on this yet, but we're definitely going broke, so... I'm going to have to make GP somehow. So let's check something out, right? Granite, 2kg. They're expensive right now. But you can still make money off them. Okay, no you can't. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay, let's try this again. Let's try it again. Just for shits and giggles. Oh my god, that's right. Okay. 20k. For one. What? Like, literally, granite just doesn't exist? Okay, never mind. We'll just stay broke. Alright, and there it is. After doing Rune Mysteries and Into the Abyss mini quest, we can now get the Demonic Skull. You combine that with the... What? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. The item has been sent to your bank. Well, that's fucking annoying. And I think I bought two. Oops. Well, anyway... That, alongside our agility set, should give us a ton more XP, which, I mean, obviously, I'll show you guys the difference. We were getting about 90k XP an hour before, um, but I can't right away because I did put stars into agility, so I gotta burn through this 30k bonus XP before we can get kind of an accurate reading between the, dif the difference of before and after. So I'm gonna go burn through this 30k, and then we'll see how big of an XP difference we get from uh, from that. So I've been running the bot like this for about an hour. I had some difficulties earlier and had to restart it. So it's been more, probably like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But uh, yeah, a lot more XP per hour. Like almost 30, 40,000 extra XP an hour. So huge difference. Not sure if I want to sit here and do this for the rest of double XP. Maybe I'll set up like an AoE revolution bar and go do some combat in the abyss or something. I, I really don't know. But I do know I want a really high agility and double XP is just the best time to train it. So we probably will stay here for a little bit longer. Alright, so I set the level like target to 80. And it would take 10 straight hours of botting right now to go from 71 to 80. Which obviously I could do. It, it's a bot and I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. But I am very tempted to switch to something else because I have a limited amount of double XP left. But at the end of the day, double XP is not that important because it's a bot. <laughs> I'm not playing. So last night before I left to go watch the Timberwolves game, I switched to the woodcutting bot because I was having problems with the agility bot where like 
after a little bit, it would get to one of the obstacles, fail, and then just kind of stop there. And I didn't want to waste a bunch of my XP having him sit stopped at, like, um, a course that he failed. But I ended up probably wasting a little bit of my double XP just because these stupid special take logs pile up. And you can't really do anything about them bot-wise. Like, it's not designed to destroy them yet. So doesn't really matter i ended up with 69 wood cutting which is enough I, is the bot run i think the bot is running it is stop running I ended up with enough wood cutting to go do ivies if i want which is good I, I would much prefer to do ivies and not get these stupid specialty logs and stuff over this method so who is this guy what are the odds of seeing somebody here oh and yeah we're very poor now i spent all my money so unfortunately too, I was using granite to make a ton of GP before at the start of DXP, and now it's just tanked. It's just, it used to double my money, now it's having it every time. Yeah, even though I just said I was broke, we're literally going to burn my money away. Uh, I want to get my fire making up just because it's fast, and I honestly just want to hit a thousand total level. Okay, so we ended up getting to 62 fire making. And then, as far as my crafting level, you notice it jumped. It's because I was opening these uh, treasure hunter keys and I ended up with protein hide. So I used a bunch of the protein hide with double XP active. And then, yeah, now we have 47 crafting. I know I said I want to hit 1,000 total level, but honestly, this video is kind of getting long and I just want to get a video out. So we're going to end it here at 844 total level. And then in the next video, we'll definitely hit 1,000 total level and try getting some of our other skills up if we can.